The OECD Competition Committee was established in December 1961. At present, the Competition Committee brings together leaders of the world's major competition authorities of member countries, 35 member countries plus the European Union, and of non-OECD countries. We currently have 17 non-member countries participating in the committee and other ad hoc invitees. The committee is a chief international forum for dialogue on main competition policy issues, where the competition division provides policy research to support the discussions. The committee also issues best practices and standards for better competition policies. It contributes to building capacity in competition policy and enforcement around the world. We have been particularly successful in building capacity in Central and Eastern Europe and in the Asia Pacific region with two regional centers, the OECD KPC in Korea and the OECD GVH in Hungary. The committee also promotes market-oriented reforms and policies around the globe, and it promotes horizontal work within the OECD and also outside of the OECD, since competition is an horizontal subject. I should say that the committee remains the leading source of best practices in competition policy worldwide, and it's strongly committed to reach out to non-members and to establish real partnerships, and is certainly ready to meet the challenges of the future, such as inclusive growth, globalization, and digitalization. The exchange of experience by competition authorities and the establishment of best practices address these global challenges. One of the challenges that I mentioned is inclusive growth. Competition has long been known to be a drive of economic growth, but competition can also contribute to reducing income and wealth inequality. We have held several roundtables in the context of our global forum on competition that relate to inclusive growth. Just recently, in 2017, a roundtable on competition and democracy. Last year, on competition and human rights. We've held in 2015 a roundtable on does competition kill or create jobs, the links and drivers between competition and employment. In 2014 on fighting corruption and promoting competition. And 2013 competition and poverty reduction. But we've also handled issues related to globalization and international cooperation. And we know that globalization will continue to test competition law international, internationally. We have cross-border cartels and mergers on the rise. Uh, there are public interest considerations that are widespread, and there is a risk of a wider use. And international cooperation across the globe is key to ensure that dominant firms are not able to game the system, and that international cartels are found, they are investigated, and they are prosecuted effectively. And I should say that digitalization only further highlights the need for international cooperation. So it's very important that we look back at the OECD standards, such as the recommendation on fighting our core cartels, or the recommendation on international uh, cooperation. Another challenge that all countries are facing is dig digitalization. Cross-border digitalization leads to market integration. It promotes international trade and enables data-driven business models that promote competition and economic growth. But we also know that it can raise competition concerns. So the committee has elected the digital economy as a strategic theme and has held several roundtables and hearings on disruptive innovation in several sectors, such as financial markets, transport, electricity, legal services, on big data, on algorithms and collusion, and also on how we should rethink the traditional antitrust tools in multi-sided markets. 
This work is part of a large cross-cutting horizontal project at the OECD, the Going Digital project. In the near future, we expect that the committee will focus on other strategic themes, such as intellectual property rights and competition, competitive neutrality, procedural fairness, international cooperation, as uh, we will have to look back at the recommendation of 2014 and see whether it is up to date and up to the task. And finally, we will continue to look at uh, digitalization, in particular at the link between competition and regulation, with the aim to review the competition assessment toolkits in light of digitalization in 2019 uh, and 20.